Acoustica Essentials from Acon Digital is a digital audio editor which includes a collection of powerful tools for audio restoration, noise reduction, and creative signal processing. Users can work with audio clips from Pro Tools as either high-resolution waveforms or within a detailed spectrogram view, and new ARA support enables you to leverage these tools significantly faster and easier in Pro Tools without having to round-trip audio. Pro Tools customers with active subscriptions and perpetual upgrade plans receive the Acoustica Essentials ARA plugin at no cost. Let's take a closer look at how it works. When Acoustica is added to an audio track in Pro Tools, the active clip is displayed below within the docked ARA view, showing a high-resolution waveform where the playhead for Acoustica is locked to the Pro Tools timeline. Above the main waveform is a thumbnail view, bounded by markers which define the viewable range of audio to focus on. Whether clicking from the Pro Tools clip, the overview thumbnail, or the main Acoustica waveform, the playhead location is synchronized. From the volume menu, users can access practical functions like volume, fade, or normalize to quickly adjust levels, add fades, or optimize the audio clip based on RMS, true peak, or loudness values. The tools menu includes signal generation, such as pink and brown noise, but also frequency sweeps, plus phase rotation, silence insertion, and DC offset mitigation. Inside the effects menu, you'll find signal processing options like modulation and chorus, plus an excellent convolution reverb, which supports true stereo mode, and the ability to import user-created impulse responses. The Enhancement menu is where the noise reduction algorithms live, providing tools to tame hum, digital clipping, and individual problematic transients. Finally, the Analysis menu includes several useful visualization tools for displaying the audio spectrum, the spectral histogram, plus a statistical breakdown of the audio properties, from EBU R128 loudness to the true peak range and more. You can easily export the analysis data into a document to include with the delivery of your audio assets. Next, let's take a look at Acoustica in action with a snippet of location audio recorded from a sculpture park. We'll start by doing a simple trim on the source audio by accessing the volume function within the volume menu. Let's attenuate the signal by 3 dB, then choose Process, where we immediately can see the change in the audio waveform. The low frequency percussive hits have potential, but let's clean up some of the other ambient sounds like birdsong and insects, which may be distracting. We'll start with the birds. We can toggle from waveform to spectrogram right from the toolbar, then zoom in to get a better view. We can even tear off the docked Acoustica window, then stretch it on this or any other display attached to our system. Let's isolate the birds by choosing the freehand selection tool, then drawing a boundary around them. If we play back, we can hear only the isolated birds which are bounded by the selection. Let's enable the retouch tool in replace mode, which allows us to pull material from the same frequency range to replace the selection containing the birds. We'll control click, then press the bracket button to perform the replacement. Let's listen to the change. Acoustica provides multiple paths to accomplish noise reduction and artifact removal. If we back up slightly, you can hear a sequence of small transient clicks within the audio just following the previous impact. Let's return back to the waveform view, then choose the de-click tool from the enhancement menu. We can also choose to solo just the noise artifacts in order to identify exactly what we're removing from the audio. Let's apply the process, then listen to the results. We'll return back to the spectrogram view to address the bed of droning insects. And to do so, we'll leverage window configurations to restore an alternate view of our Acoustica editor. This time we'll grab the rectangular selector tool for time and frequency and draw a box around the insects, spanning a few of the individual impacts. From the retouch tool, we'll choose attenuate and then set it to 80% to reduce the majority of these elements. Click to define the reference audio, then process. Now most of the dominant environmental noises have been attenuated or completely removed. The changes that we've made while working in Acoustica are non-destructive and can be easily undone right from the edit menu. We can also right-click on the active clip in Pro Tools and choose to bypass the Acoustica ARA processing so we can easily A-B the choices we've made. To start over and revert the clip to its original state, 
simply choose Clear. To apply the current processing from Acoustica and print it into a new clip, choose Render. Now that we've committed the changes, we can continue working in Acoustica by selecting Edit to re-enable the clip processing. Let's normalize both of the impacts to a value of minus 5 dB true peak. Within this same normalized tool, we have the ability to process audio based on loudness reference values as well. We can quickly define clip ranges for each of the impacts using the R key, which we've assigned within the Acoustica preferences where any of the keyboard shortcuts for the editor and tools can be customized. We'll label each of the selected hits, then from the File menu we can choose Save Regions to Files, where the options include Target Folder, Naming Structure, plus the file format, which can include FLAC, Opus, Wave64, and more. For this example, we'll choose FLAC, which is both a lossless and a compact file format. Now that we have our individual assets, we can easily pull these into other sessions, samplers, sound design tools, or asset databases. Acoustica Essentials from Acon Digital is a powerful digital audio toolkit for Pro Tools users that offers high-resolution waveform and spectral editing, intelligent audio repair, creative signal processing, and audio analysis for a wide range of applications.